Welcome to Ag Shorts. I'm Kalen. With me is my father, Brandon. In the next five minutes, we're going to talk about portable corrals. Specifically, do we use them with cattle? It's on you. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yes, when they're necessary. Fact is, I, you know, uh, when we do things like um, have a, a bunch of cows or or some calves or something we got to do in another spot, uh, like on a le piece of lease ground, and uh, you need to hold them, make another little holding pen, then yeah, you're loading a bunch of these panels up, taking them over, making a small pen or, you know, adding on to what's already there and with poor infrastructure and um, just utilizing it. Um, do you ever get concerned about safety? I'm always concerned about safety. Of course, I'm the safest guy in the world. <laughs> no, but really, because well, my body it's, feels it's, like it's 107 years old. But but portable corrals can be so much more flimsy. And if you get yeah. a, a, just a small wreck or a small rodeo going on, they can fold up on you so fast compared to the the piping that we've got at the the oh, main, yeah. you know the ranch. So what what do you do to try and mitigate well, that you, stuff? We we try to work cattle slower anyway. Yeah. But when you're doing it that, then you're working them in small bunches. You know, not not large groups. Mm -hmm. not trying to fill a pan up, not trying to fill an alleyway up, um, you know, and you don't want to work something alone because then it really will push trying to get out. So working three, four or five head at a time um, is really kind of a good deal because they will stick together, try to move together like a flock of birds, you know, and you just try to try to uh, direct them and do it as quietly without a lot of pressure. I mean, that's just is the best way to put it. But yeah, we use sometimes these portable corrals inside of our um you know or, or permanent structures they're particularly calving time you know i set up some panels and make a little pen off of the uh barn where i can get them a cow in and and uh kind of isolate her into a small pen at the at the door of the barn so that i can get her in and pull a calf if i need to or get some cows in um you know with a calf that's in trouble something's gotten cold uh get that bugger in there and get them get them done and it's just a a whole lot easier to funnel them in there you're just you, you're basically building an alley into uh -huh. the uh back of the barn which normally we want to keep open uh so we've got a uh, maximum sized corral that we have on the on the uh it happens to be the south side of this this barn with a couple of doors in it but um all cross cross fence sometimes a, a large corral for whatever reason we need to segregate or separate stuff and uh use that with you know, portable panels, driving some steel posts, tying them to it. And a few minutes, you've got something set up, you know, you can, you can make a couple of different pens and, you know, very elaborate stuff in an hour, you know, uh, by yourself. So it's, uh, they're very handy and they're very, they're a vital part of what we do, um, in spots where we don't want something permanent, but we need to be able to work some, some cattle or, or uh, uh, animals around or add to, what we're doing and i know it's pretty vague but yeah. yeah we use them with 90 seconds left people that say i will never use portable panels around cattle uh what do you kind of say to that i've never heard anybody say that not in this part of the country because uh you know you you sometimes have to do what you got to do I, i've been foolish enough to say that i'm never going to do this well i mean sometimes you're going like Ugh. i remember that. saying that 30 years ago and i should have never said that but yeah, I, I mean, it all depends on what you want to do, and uh, I've I've never I've never heard anybody who's open to innovation say that I will never. Simple as that. Well, there you go. Get get her done with portable <laughs> panels and cows.